Hey guys, welcome back to Paul Block's Garage. I um, hadn't done a video in a couple of weeks just because I really have been busy with work and didn't really have any content to give. Um, the only thing that I have going on right now is these center caps. See how rusty they are? Well, I ordered some new ones. Hopefully, I ordered the right size. I just came out here with a tape measure and measured. Um, so I believe they're going to be the right size and new tires. Um, you can see this one over here really needed it on the driver's side. And I got these from Priority underscore tire off uh, eBay. Anybody interested in buying some tires? Um, pretty pretty reasonably cheap. I got, got them for $99 shipped to the front door, free shipping. Um, kind of like these because they're a performance tire and... Uh, trucks like this look good with white letters on the outside and I just kind of like those um, but anyway um, only other thing I've done is kind of on the cheap is the heater core is hooked in here but um, I'll show you in a minute how hard it's going to be to run a hose to the water pump part intake will be pretty easy but the water pump is going to be aggravating um, I got one of them Harbor Freight um, windshield defroster slash heaters um, I actually bought it and didn't realize I didn't have a cigarette lighter plug in, which it's there. The uh, I just got to buy one to hook it in, and that's just the other thing I've done. And I'm also expecting between 10:30 today and 2 p.m. today from UPS a valance order to valance. Uh, kind of don't like the bumpers on it. They have bumpers that are kind of a little bit wider and smooth with no holes or no moldings or nothing on them um, and I'll eventually get one of those but thinking about taking everything off that bumper and filling it in with something seeing people do it online and I'll put the balance on there and uh, so I'll be installing that today and then I'll be doing which is I had before it just looks plain I'll do another video of when it's on there and all the center caps on there it's just my first day off in a couple of weeks and I'm not looking forward to taking these wheels off uh, when you're fat like me and older. Even with power tools and a chair to sit in, it, it, uh, this thing being lowered, it's bad on your back. And the other problem I have is this other wheel over here actually has a broke stud on the back side, which sucks because you put a power tool on or anything on it, you can just take and turn it with your finger and uh, it just sit it sits in there and spins. So got to figure out how to get that out because the rotor's in the way. Uh, I don't know if I can actually take the caliper bracket out and, uh, and the uh, caliper off and the brakes off from the backside and just pull the whole wheel off and take it in my shop and try to get a punch or something in there to, to knock the uh, stud out. We'll just have to see. I don't know. I can't remember if, you can, if, that's, a, if that's a plausible way of fixing that part. And I also ordered a uh, new side mirror. I actually got pulled over the other day by the Popo. Uh, no tag light was a probable cause, which is a, you know, kind of a way they get around pulling you over just to see if you got dope or they smell anything or come up with probable cause for something. And he mentioned that mirror, uh, which is pretty lenient on me. Um, he could have wrote me a couple of tickets, but he didn't let me go. And let's see. Uh, I think he, I just noticed that my linkage, uh, a little bolt keeps coming off. I guess I'm going to have to put some Loctite or something on that to keep it from coming off. It's down in the intake there. Uh, definitely don't want to be going down the road and not have no, uh, get to go pull out in front of somebody or pull out in traffic and not have no throttle. But, uh, but yeah, I bought, uh, bought these center caps. Hope they work. And I uh, can't keep my shop clean. My son lives here too. And he bought a canoe and does a lot of hunting. And uh, he's going to do a lot of hog hunting. And uh, here's the center caps. Pacer. The thing's cost $67. Which I thought was pretty expensive. But oh well. Needed them anyway. But can't keep anything clean in here. He had a, bought a canoe for like 80 bucks And fiberglassed it. And blew my garage out. Emptying this vehicle to do that which it ain't too bad of a canoe for I think he gave 80 bucks for it and done some fiberglass on he's not done with it looks halfway decent but all of this coloration is on it 
uh, is where he fiberglassed it. Uh, which he didn't do too bad of a patch job on it. Um, he went and used it and doesn't have no leaks, so that's a good thing. But uh, he's got all the licenses and stuff to hunt like 5,000 acres. And plus he runs a hunting club, deer hunting club when deer season's open. And uh, he's gonna use this to get to where all the hogs are, which when I understand it's you gotta go across some water on a small island or something to get to where it's at. But it's probably the quietest, easiest way to get there. But, uh, but on the truck, it's coming along. I've uh, been driving it for a couple of weeks now, probably put about 300 miles on it, and it's been driving flawless. The only problem I noticed that after I drive it for about 30 minutes and the truck gets heated up, um, I go to a stop, come to an abrupt stop like at a light or something, and I'm getting water spewing out from under the hood up on the glass. And my suspect is this cap. It's uh, about the cheapest cap you, radiator cap you can get. And I'm thinking it's coming out from under the cap, so I'm going to get a bit better cap today. And also, I'm going to get an Ultima battery and get rid of this small Walmart battery I bought on the cheap. Um, and I'm running my electric fans and headlights and windshield wipers and everything electric in the car. Uh, just don't like the way the voltage is holding up, so I'm going to try to get an Ultima battery. And also, uh, looking at getting a bigger amp alternator i've seen them like 140 amp to up to 180 amp i really don't know what factory is i imagine it's probably around 120 140 somewhere around there and uh i'm just also looking at uh a guy has for sale on uh, facebook a um air gap elderbrock intake uh, for the vortex it's real nice looking intake brand new still has the box and papers if he wanted a different route and he wants 150 bucks. It's like a almost a 300 something dollar intake. So I don't know if I'm going to splurge for that or not. But uh, but I do know that uh, Saturday, Saturday and Sunday I'm off. It's the first weekend I've had off in a month. Uh, I'm going to try to put the uh, another tail housing on the transmission. I know I've discussed some videos about that situation. Um, everything works. It's just I don't like the. Uh, the appearance of it it just looks unsafe when you're looking at it if you don't know what I know about it I actually uh, found a tail housing um, that uh, I can use on it uh, I haven't been able to find one even though I saw one on eBay that's supposed to carry the uh, the electric speedo plug-in that comes on like a 700 R4 but when I looked at the ad, it actually, if you read on down, it actually said it's like for, uh, it's a 350 turbo tail housing, but that thing looks like it's like 17 inches long or something. It's not a nine inch. That's what I need is a nine inch tail housing. And so what I'm going to have to do is, uh, I went to, uh, I think it's monster transmission and saw that they had a plug that you can actually plug into the speedo gear and plug it off and not use it for now, which what I'm gonna do is just, I have a speedo gear, I'm just gonna cut the speedo gear and uh, just bolt it up so it doesn't leak there and use it for now until I can get that plug in for a monster, um, which I'm probably gonna end up just putting an app on my phone for now um, to where I can tell how fast I'm going. And <clears throat> buy me a, a tack. I hadn't decided if I wanna go with a ginormous tack that everybody and their daddy puts on their little street rods that's you know it's got the big shit flat by i think it's a monster tack or just a small tack to bolt in somewhere it's pretty cheap i found them. you can get them at like auto zone for like 40 bucks but other than that that's that, that's about that on it uh i do have my son that's going to do some fiberglass on the truck hopefully either today or tomorrow or this weekend uh, so I can get this thing primed up and get it ready to paint probably by the end of the year. I'm going to paint it. Just ain't decided what color. Uh, it originally was red, as you can see, from the firewall and the hood. But uh, anyway, that's all on this Project 500. Um, if you like the videos, you can like and subscribe. If you don't, thumbs down. don't really matter to me. Like I said before, I'm just doing it to for my own entertainment and if somebody enjoys the videos along the way and they got a truck like this and they just like hearing an old country boy talk about it uh, i'm not trying to do this for a living then uh I'm, I'm glad that you're entertained if not then i'm sorry but uh anyway um 
ready to put some center caps on this thing and a balance on this thing. So I will speak to you guys later and peace out.